Our oceans are full of toxic and deadly creatures, and most of them haven't been discovered yet. But there are many that we do know about. They're the ones that have been responsible for killing hundreds of people already. From a seemingly harmless tiny little creature that you sometimes eat, to a deadly fish almost impossible to spot, here are the 20 most dangerous fish in the world. Number 20. Wolf Eel Despite being called wolf eel, this creature is actually a fish. It was called wolf eel due to its insanely powerful jaws and razor-sharp teeth. It evolved to have such a scary set of weapons in its mouth because it actually mainly feeds on hard-shelled creatures such as crabs and abalone, so it obviously needs a very strong bite to be able to crush through those sturdy shells. I mean, not that anyone in their right mind would see one of these terrifying looking animals and feel the overpowering need to go and pet it, but just in case, if you see this fish in the ocean, don't touch it, cause it'll leave you without a hand if you do. Also, wolf eels can be gigantic. An adult may grow up to 8 feet long and can easily weigh up to 41 pounds. And their entire skeleton is made out of cartilage, so they are faster and sneakier than they look. They are extremely flexible and can make themselves fit into small crevices. In other words, you won't see it coming. Their bodies are also covered in slime, which functions as an immune system, but also makes them virtually impossible to catch. And why would you want to catch one of these hungry, angry, bloodthirsty fish in the first place? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Portuguese Man O' War This creature is often called a jellyfish, but in fact, it's a species of siphonophore, which are closely related to jellyfish, but are not quite it. This creature is very unique in that it's comprised of a colony of genetically identical individuals. Yeah, that's right, they are a colony of clones. That's pretty cool. Each clone has a different function, but they all work together as one. I mean, this sci-fi horror movie writes itself. The Portuguese Man of War got its name because it looks very similar to an 18th century Portuguese warship. They are easily recognizable by their balloon-like float that rises up about six inches above the surface of the water. And lurking right under that balloon are long strands of tentacles and polyps that can grow up to a hundred feet long. And those are the weapons of this bizarre creature because those long tentacles contain stinging microscopic capsules loaded with barbed tubes that deliver a venom so powerful powerful, it can literally paralyze a grown adult due to the excruciating pain. The sting of the Portuguese Man of War isn't lethal to humans, but if you're unfortunate enough to experience it, you'll surely never forget the horrific pain that you will endure. So yeah, if you see one of these in the water, swim as fast as you can. Number 18. Stonefish if you ever find yourself on a lovely beach in the Indo-Pacific region and you see a muddy and rocky bottom of a marine area, either do not go into the water or wear heavy-duty rubber sole water shoes at all times. Why? Well, because that is the preferred habitat of the stonefish, a fish that looks exactly like any other rock around it. Sometimes people can be standing an inch away from this deadly animal and not even know it. If you do unfortunately step on one of these, then the 13 spines lining its back will release the venom under pressure. The more that gets injected into your foot, the worse it is. This is such a dangerous animal and it packs such a powerful venom that at best it'll cause you excruciating pain, swelling, and necrosis, which basically means that your foot's tissue will die resulting in amputation, and at worst, a slow and painful death. One woman was once stung on her finger, and she reported to ABC News that it felt like having each knuckle, then the wrist, elbow, and shoulder being hit in turn with a sledgehammer over the course of over an hour nonstop. So yeah, water shoes might not look cool, but in this case, they could very well save your life. And that's pretty cool. Number 17. 
Flower Urchin Toxic sea urchins are quite strikingly beautiful, but for every ounce of beauty they have, they also pack a pretty dangerous secret weapon. Talk about beautiful but deadly. See those hundreds of petal-like flowers they have? Well, that is where their venom comes from, and it is so potent it can easily kill an adult person. They're found primarily in tropical Indo-Pacific waters, so if you ever wander around there, be sure not to get too close to these beautiful yet hostile sea bouquets. They aren't very big, and thankfully, their colorful exterior makes them quite easy to spot. They possess hundreds of little spines ready to sting whoever dares touch them, and animals that coexist with them know this very very well, so much so you will rarely see fish swimming near them. In nature, when something is very colorful, it's usually to warn off predators, letting them know they're venomous. And the flower urchin is no exception. They're pretty to look at, but never to touch. They can be found as loners or in groups, and they have a preference for coral reefs, seagrass beds, and rocky or sandy environments. So beware if you wander into their territory. Never get too close to them, as they can actually shoot venom-loaded spines at a short distance as well. Number 16. Shortfin Mako Shark when you ask most people which is the most dangerous shark, they'll shout without a hint of a doubt, the Great White. Not many people know about the shortfin mako shark, which is in fact the most agile of all species of shark by far, making it technically the most efficient hunter of the ocean. And not only that, it's also the world's fastest shark. This magnificent animal can reach speeds of over 60 miles per hour. That means this shark exceeds the speed limit of most highways and is half the freefall speed of a skydiver. And if you think about it, that is hands down terrifying. The largest short fin mako shark ever caught was 14.6 feet long. And to make things even more scary, these beasts can be found all over the world, from California to Argentina to the South Pacific. Scientists compare the mako shark to a cheetah because of its amazing speed, only with much larger teeth and a lot more muscle. Just imagine being in the water, minding your own business, and having this apex predator with razor-sharp teeth coming at you at the speed of a fast car. The stuff of nightmares, truly. Number 15. Blue Ringed Octopus Blue Ringed Octopus can be found in tide pools and coral reefs in the Indian and Pacific Oceans all the way from Japan to Australia. Although they're quite a docile species, when handled badly, they can feel threatened and change their color dramatically. And that's when it's time to go, because its neurotoxin can be fatal to people, so it's always best to leave them be. The Blue Ringed Octopus is exceptionally mesmerizing. It has beautiful electric blue rings all over its body with a yellow background. But as most extremely colorful creatures on this earth, that's a way to warn off predators because they usually harbor a very powerful venom strong enough to kill anything in its natural habitat. They are one of the most venomous marine animals in the whole world. Not only is it a master of camouflage, but of disguise as well. It can imitate a very large range of creatures, rocks, and algae. So if you ever catch in the corner of your eye the telltale blue and black rings of this octopus, better get out of dodge fast and never ever touch it. Number 14. Moray Eel Moray eels are very fast swimmers, so you'll never see them coming. And because they are covered in a mucus layer, it's extremely hard to get a hold of them. They are incredibly slippery. Moray eels are very nice to look at, but from a safe distance. They're truly very intriguing creatures, but they definitely need their space respected, and here's why. In Indonesia, some divers saw a gigantic moray eel attacking and eating a white tip shark. So always scuba dive with someone that's experienced when you enter their territory. I mean, if they can take down a shark, they'll have no issue taking down a diver. They're colorful and beautiful, but they have sharp teeth and will appear out of nowhere and bite if you get too close. They mainly hide in the coral reefs and in crevices in the rocks, so it's very important to watch out for them and keep your hands to yourself. If not, be prepared to have a full set of knife-like teeth sinking into your limbs. Moray eels are very highly skilled hunters, and if they feel threatened, they tend to be quite short-tempered. Number 13. Great Barracuda 
Because of its size and speed, the Great Barracuda does not have many natural predators, and they can be extremely dangerous for humans as well. This species of barracuda can reach up to 5 feet in length. So yeah, they are quite large and strong. And because they are carnivorous predators, they also have massive teeth in their mouths. Altogether, it's a bad combination for whoever is unfortunate enough to cross their path. Their bodies are literally designed for speed, so you would never see them coming. They are, after all, one of the fastest fish in the sea. They can swim at speeds of 36 miles per hour. And to be even scarier, some species of barracuda form schools of thousands of individuals. Just imagine what it would be like to have such a massive group of fish swimming at you at such insane speed. They have never attempted to feed on people, but if they're provoked, barracudas tend to be pretty aggressive even with humans. So if you happen to run across one while swimming, it would be very much advised to get out of the water, unless you're a highly trained diver with experience with these animals. Oh, and whatever you do, do not touch them. That would make them very angry. Number 12. Stingrays. Stingrays are closely related to sharks, which means they are extremely skilled predators and very dangerous animals. They don't usually attack humans, but it's never impossible that it could happen. And trust me, you don't want to be the one to test their patience. Stingrays also like to bury themselves in the sand to hide from potential predators, so it can be hard to spot them sometimes. Which means that if you're scuba diving one day and you see the sand moving, that might be a stingray and you should get out of the water immediately. Or at least swim as fast as you can the opposite way. Did you know that stingray skeletons are made out of the same bone-like material that you have in your ears? It's called cartilage, and it's a semi-flexible protein found in some animals, including us. That's why they're soft and malleable, and that's why they can swim so gracefully. But don't be fooled by their ballerina-like movements. At the end of their tail, stingrays have a very powerful toxin-filled barb, and when they feel threatened, they can lift that up and injure their potential predators. So whatever you do, when you're swimming nearby a stingray, don't act in a threatening manner. Otherwise, you can expose yourself to serious injury, so much so that you could potentially die from it. Number 11. Needlefish. Needlefish have very elongated and slender bodies, but they also have a long beak full of extremely sharp teeth that can inflict serious and deep puncture wounds. They primarily feed on smaller fish, catching them sideways with their beak and then swallowing them head first. Needlefish might not look very dangerous or fierce, they're not the biggest animal in the oceans or the scariest looking, but they have already claimed several human lives. In 1977, a needlefish attacked a 10-year-old boy in Kauai, and it struck him near his right eye. The boy was fishing on a boat with his father, but there was nothing anyone could do. The fish's beak penetrated the boy's skull so deeply it actually reached his brain. Tragically, the boy died. The biggest needlefish can reach up to 5 feet long, while the smallest can only grow up to 2 inches. So if you ever encounter one of the bigger species, whatever you do, do not touch it. You do not want to make the beast angry. And some species of needlefish can even skim out of the water and roam the surface for a few yards. So if you were being attacked by one of these beautiful creatures, not even getting on dry land would necessarily save you. Number 10. Lionfish. The lionfish is a carnivore fish native to the Indo-Pacific Ocean, because, you know, everything lethal seems to inhabit that area, apparently. The lionfish is very colorful and beautiful. They're a pleasure to watch. But don't be fooled by its beauty. It has a very deadly secret. Even though they're very slow-moving, they're full of venomous spines, and that's why they have no known predators. Evolution did a good job on this one. It has no strength and no agility. It was a sitting duck until it developed these deadly spines all over its body. In the past 20 years, there have been many sightings of the lionfish in the Atlantic Ocean coasts, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Caribbean Sea.
They are thought to have been released there by pet owners after realizing the lionfish would eat all the other fish in their tanks. And this is predictably a massive issue because it's disturbing entire ecosystems as well as harming unaware divers. Where they come from, everybody knows to stay very far away from the lionfish, but in the Atlantic waters, some scuba divers might be mesmerized by its tropical appearance and get too close. If you ever see a beautiful lionfish in the water, whatever you do, don't touch it. Number 9. Sea Lions Sea lions have been in conflict with the human race for quite some time now. This animosity is called the human wildlife conflict, and it means that animals cause substantial direct or recurring danger to safety and livelihood of humans. Could you imagine a creature strong enough to cause us trouble out at sea where we have gigantic boats and so on? Well, that would be the sea lion. First of all, they can get quite large. An adult male can reach up to six or 800 pounds and grow up to eight feet long. There are many different species of sea lion throughout the world, from Australia to Peru to California, and unfortunately, they've been associated with aggression towards humans in the past. I mean, they might look very cute and cuddly, but let's not forget, they are highly skilled predators. Some of them are extremely agile and fast, and some of them weigh more than your car. But sea lions are also outstandingly intelligent, and in Peru, they've been worshipped all throughout history. It's still an active part of their culture today. They have many accounts of positive interactions with this animal. But in other parts of the world, where humans don't quite know how to enter their territory, it can end in tragedy for both species, sadly. Number 8. Bull Shark Many experts believe that bull sharks are the most dangerous sharks on the entire planet. This is due to the fact that they are aggressive hunters by nature, and also the fact that they are usually active in waters where people are present. And no matter how you look at it, that's just a very bad combination. They are usually found in shallow ocean waters, but they've also been seen hundreds of miles up freshwater rivers. Basically, they are everywhere people enjoy a nice swim. Bull sharks hunt alone, and they usually eat fish, but they have been known for preying on bigger animals and even other sharks. In other words, they are not picky eaters, and they are powerful enough to take down another shark. They are not an opponent you want to be faced with. Females can grow up to 11 and a half feet long and weigh up to 500 pounds. Female bull sharks are bigger than the males, but yeah, they are pretty huge. In the water, sharks will always have an advantage over us. That much is clear. They are in their element, and on the other hand, we are not. But it's important to note that in a typical year, fewer than 20 people die by shark attacks, but more than 20 million sharks die in relation to the fishing industry. Number 7. Cone Snail when people think of snails, they usually visualize a tiny and slow bug, and if that person is French, they might also think about how delicious they are when cooked in garlic butter. But the reality is that there are over 40,000 different species of snails on this planet, and they are not all as harmless as your ordinary garden snails. The cone snail is one of those snails that you really do not want to mess with. It is literally a 6 inch toxic killer. But don't worry, you probably won't find them in your garden. They only live in the waters of Southeast Asia. This is an underwater perfect predator that successfully hunts down fish on a daily basis. The cone snail is equipped with a large harpoon made out of modified teeth that harbors a toxin strong enough to kill a grown man. This lethal toxin has the ability to instantly paralyze its prey, making it very easy to feast on them while they are still alive. Yikes. Cone snails aren't in the habit of attacking humans, but it's important to note that they are quite difficult to see when they are hiding under the sand, and if someone happens to walk by barefoot, the snail will defend itself with its only weapon, the lethal poison. If not treated immediately, it can easily result in tragic death. Number 6. Tiger Shark Although it is important to note that shark attacks on humans are very rare, they still are a very powerful predator, and if you're not experienced and you happen to see one in the water near you, you would be very wise to immediately get out of the water. The tiger shark might just be amongst the most dangerous marine animals in the oceans. 
It isn't the biggest or the strongest of sharks by any means. What makes the tiger shark so dangerous is its personality. It is by far the most aggressive species out there. It lives worldwide in tropical waters and predominantly near the coasts. So contact with humans is a daily occurrence. They can reach to the staggering length of 18 feet and can weigh as much as nearly one metric ton. And not only are they extremely aggressive predators, they also eat just about anything they find, even other sharks. Sharks. They don't have the habit of attacking humans, but they would not hesitate if needed. In some areas, tiger sharks have attacked people, and due to their immense size, it can easily end in fatalities. It gets its name from the characteristic vertical lines that cover the sides of its body, so at least they're very easy to spot. Number 5. Great White Shark and now, let's talk about the absolute ruler of the seas, the almighty and hands-down terrifying Great White. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you happen to see one, get out of the water as fast as humanly possible. And whatever you do, do not attempt to touch it. I mean, sharks are not the mindless killing machines people seem to think they are, but they are still insanely powerful apex predators that could take down anyone in a matter of seconds. So yeah, please do not pet the gigantic creature full of razor sharp teeth that weighs almost as much as a pickup truck. Ideally, you don't want them to know you exist. They can propel through the water at speeds of up to 15 miles per hour, and they can even leave the water completely breaching like whales when attacking prey from underneath. Terrifying, huh? Out of all annual shark attacks that occur each year, about half of those are attributed to great whites. And an attack by one of these beasts is no joke. They have over 300 serrated, triangular teeth arranged in several rows, and their sense of smell is nothing short of exceptional. They can exceed 20 feet in length, and they are pure muscle and skill. If you encounter a great white and survive to tell the tale, it's only because the shark wasn't threatened by you and decided not to attack. That is the only reason. Number 4. Saltwater Crocodiles The saltwater crocodile often goes to the coastline to sunbathe in order to raise its blood temperature, and that's when the majority of accidents happen. When a wild crocodile isn't used to the sight of humans, they can consider them a threat and therefore attack. And you don't really want an attack by one of these, because the saltwater crocodile is a hyper-carnivorous apex predator, which means that it doesn't have any natural predators in its natural habitat. And it also means it'll eat pretty much everything and anything you put in front of them that has a pulse. They don't have a particular taste for human flesh, but they are known for being aggressive towards people if they feel threatened. That's why they are considered a major danger for people that share a habitat with them. Any other apex predator that dares to wander anywhere near their territory will feel the full wrath of their powerful bite, and humans are no exception. Marine crocodiles mainly live in warm waters, and they are the largest species of crocs in the world. Their bite is extremely strong and deadly. They simply don't let go until whatever they're biting stops fighting back. And that's just hands down terrifying. Number 3. Oceanic White Tip Shark Meet one of the most dangerous sharks to humans ever. This extremely large predator is easily recognized by its long, white-tipped, paddle-like pectoral fins, and more specifically, its rounded first dorsal fin. The white-tipped shark prefers living in the upper layers of the deep water ocean areas. They move slowly, but don't be fooled by their apparent laziness. They are extremely powerful and dangerous. White tips are opportunistic hunters, which is very bad news for us humans. Why? Well, because they are known to have attacked survivors of ship and plane wrecks at sea. And if that's not terrifying enough, they're also suspected of being responsible for several unrecorded human fatalities. Just imagine how horrific it would be to go through a plane or a shipwreck, which is traumatizing enough as it is, surviving it, and then being attacked by a 13-foot-long apex predator looking for a little snack. The horror movie writes itself. They're also extremely aggressive, and they tend to dominate feeding frenzies. Some experts believe that the oceanic white tip shark has attacked more humans than all other shark species combined. But as much as they are a danger to us, we're responsible for their population numbers dramatically decreasing, and all because their large fins are highly valued as the key ingredient of shark fin soup, and therefore they're being overfished for it. Number two. Box Jellyfish 
A fully grown box jellyfish can measure up to 8 inches long, but their tentacles can be 10 feet in length. They have about 15 tentacles laced with venom in each corner. That is a lot of venom. Box jellyfish are extremely dangerous. They can swim at 20 feet per minute, and they produce a venom that is excruciatingly painful and can be lethal to humans. These creatures are so deadly, there have been reports of them killing a great white shark. Just imagine how much power it takes to take down the ruler of the oceans. Yeah, you do not want to mess with this jellyfish. They have a complex nervous system and a relatively advanced sensory system compared to other jellyfish, which means they have an active fish-like behavior. They can avoid obstacles and swim directly where they want to go. And that's why human fatalities are quite common. In Australia specifically, there are deaths each year attributed to the box jellyfish, and in the Philippines, an estimated 20 to 40 people die each year from their sting. These are not your ordinary jellyfish. Their sting can kill a grown man, and they usually travel in very large groups. So where you see one, there might be hundreds more waiting for you in the dark waters. Number 1. Sea Snake did you know there's a species of snake that lives in the ocean? They're called coral reef snakes, and they are absolutely mesmerizing. Instead of slithering on land, they do so in the water. Cool, huh? They have a paddle-like tail that allows them to navigate the water perfectly well. They still breathe air, but otherwise they are completely adapted to aquatic life. But don't be fooled by their gorgeous appearance and their grace, they are actually quite dangerous for us. Amongst the sea snake group are species with some of the most potent venom of all snakes. Let that sink in, no pun intended. Some of them have a great and gentle disposition and will only bite when provoked, but some others are extremely aggressive and those are the ones you gotta watch out for. There have been a lot of instances where snakes wrap coils around a diver's arms and legs, which is terrifying as it is, but then they might even go for the bite, and that's when things get very tricky. If you don't treat a sea snake bite right away, you might very well die from it. And there aren't usually specialized nurses and doctors on the beach necessarily, so if you ever see one of these amazing creatures, just try not to touch it. As you can see, the oceans are packed with things that can either really hurt you or hands down kill you within minutes. I'm sure you'll look at the ocean very differently next time you go on vacation. What about you? Have you ever been attacked by a marine animal? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.